I'm really glad you clicked on this video because it's all about $60,000 off-road trucks. And in this video, I'm gonna take the brand new 2019 Ram Rebel versus the 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4. And I'm gonna put them on a off-road course here in Texas at General Sam's Off-Road Park. We're gonna show them going through mud articulation sections, approach and departure, and we're gonna test the ground clearance. You're gonna have to stick around and see how both of these trucks stack up. Which one would deserve your money? Well, check this out. The first obstacle basically is kind of a sideways hill climb. This Rebel is equipped with air suspension. So when you're talking about $60,000 trucks, you're talking you're starting to talk more about technology and high-tech features in this case air suspension and pretty sophisticated suspension system with built-in shocks and on paper 10.2 inches of ground clearance with maximum height um, right now I'm not in maximum height and I have just there you go just basically made it through this little sideways climb without much issue whatsoever. Under the hood of this Ram is a 5.7 liter Hemi, 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. Eight-speed automatic is here, but you could also get a V6 e-torque with electric assist or a V8 e-torque with electric assist. Lots of choices. Right now I'm gonna engage my locker. So in this case I can actually engage my locker versus in the GMC where it's an automatic um, mechanical locker. So I'm gonna go a little faster around this little thing and see if I can get it a little sideways. Okay. Good action. Of course it's got a coil rear suspension so it's unique. There are no leaves in the back of this truck. Now I can go into this little bit more difficult section on, the, on my way to the mud hole. But I can also increase my ground clearance using this button all the way up to 10.2 inches. One thing I wish the Rebel had as an option, and it currently does not for 2019 model year, is a 360 degree camera view and actually more camera options. Uh, newer trucks are becoming very, very large in size, physical size. When you're off-roading in them, you want to be able to have some more visibility. Here we go, mud is coming. I'm gonna go slowly to make it more difficult on the truck. When you put it in four low, it automatically disables a couple of uh, features like the parking sensors, which is a great thing. First of all, mud cakes on, on the sensors and makes it, you know, uh, them to go off at odd times and you don't want to hear that off-road. And also it, uh, the traction control system is loosened. So you can actually have a little bit more control. Like right now, it was a little sticky in the articulation section and I was able to get through it and the system allowed some spin. So I can actually keep digging and actually get going. All right, now it's time where I put the camera on the ground and show you underneath the truck. Let you see all the skid plates, the Bilstein shocks, the four low system, the transfer case, everything. Next up is down and up hill. Of course, you don't want to scratch it or drop into a big hole. I'm being very precise. Try to keep my focus. Of course, hill descent control system is here. I can try it right now. When you pause up on the hill, you can actually let go of the brake and switch to the gas without the truck rolling. All right, so approach and departure. So on paper, 
The Rebel actually does not have a great approach angle. The number is 23.1 degrees. I'm all the way up on my suspension. The departure angle is really good at 27.1. But the skid plates are there. I didn't touch. So successful crossing. Check out the approach angle differences. GMC says, of course, you can remove the chin spoiler. That's going to take a while. Here on the Rebel, the front wheel is a little bit more open than the side. Better approach. Still skid plate in the front. Finally, a little bit of a shock test. So let me see this a little bit of a rough going here. Basically, it's a Bilstein's on the Rebel versus Ranchos on the GMC. Let me lower the suspension just a hair because when the air suspension is fully extended, it becomes stiffer. There's less give. Ah, that was a little bit better, lowering it one notch. These are both manufacturer provided vehicles for this event. This is not our long-term Rebel. That truck is back in Colorado. And of course, this is Huntsville, Texas. All right, time to get into the uh, Tech Layton GMC Sierra AT4. I'll explain in a minute why it's Tech Layton. The AT4 is an off-road package that also gives you two inches of lift. And this is handy in this first obstacle because I'm getting down into this ravine there's also the sideways hill climb and clearance is always good it's listed at 10.8 inches and it's a side tilt as well I have a heads-up display that's one part of the technology available here go to sun control traction control you can also lower your tailgate auto start stop a lot of luxury features here you have your off-road screen in the center as well. And up here, heads up display. And you can configure it with several different settings. I really like using the off-road mode here. You can kind of see some of your parameters, also your speed. Here's the interface on the GMC. It's their third generation of their touchscreen and interface. And you've seen this before on our truck channel, but it's got up to 13 different camera views. If you count all of them with different zoom levels, it's just really neat how many options you have. Also for towing. And of course, you also have the camera mirror, which allows you to adjust a few things up and down, in and out. You can see the surroundings, the jungle, or straight up a mirror. So you have options. Now it's time for the mud hole. It's not awfully deep, but it is pretty challenging. Although this truck is wearing Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tires, which are very good for this type of stuff. These tires basically live for this. I'm just gonna go a little bit slower. Make sure the truck is working a little bit harder. Still, I mean, it's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. If you look at the tires, they're very, very similar. Obviously the same brand. But if you look a little closer on the Rebel, 275, 70 R18s versus here on the GMC, 275, 65 R18s. According to the manufacturer, the Rebel is basically a 33 inch tall tire. So just a little bit more meat on the ground here. Next up, the little articulation section. This truck has a lot of articulation already built in. So far I haven't, I haven't touched a skid plate or a bumper or anything yet. Behind the grill of this truck, is a 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a 10-speed automatic. You can also get a 5.3 liter V8 if you wanted to, with less power, obviously. There are skid plates offered on this truck, and you will see them because I put the camera on the ground. You 
could see in the front, you've got, well, what used to be red tow hooks, now covered with mud. And down here, this truck still has a chin spoiler. The numbers on the AT4 um, are actually pretty good as far as specs. 28.7 degrees of approach. That's without the chin spoiler. Um, so you would have to remove it if you want maximum approach angle. And of course, uh, 27.2 degrees of departure, which is pretty much on par with the Rebel as far as departure is concerned. But this truck has a lot more approach angle. A lot more usable approach angle. Let's see how the shocks work here. You know, range of shocks were good, but you know they're not the best in class. Just, just good. Not, not perfect. The ride is good, but it could have cushioned that a little bit more. But this truck has a very healthy very very healthy exhaust system let me uh, let you hear it hell yeah all right let's talk value this rem rebel you see here it's just under 60 grand about 59,000 and some change the GMC with every option you see here it's pushing just over sixty-six thousand dollars you do get a little bit more technology in the gmc with all the cameras you have heads up display so there are some nice toys to play with of course in the rebel you also get a lot more choice potentially more engine options more cab configurations more bed lengths you also have a choice of cab and bed lengths in the at4 and on this short course the handling the suspension is comparable. I really like the air suspension on the Rebel, but the Rancho shocks combination on the GMC were also quite good. I just like the adjustability of the ram suspension a little bit better than the GMC, but both trucks were neck and neck. This is a very hard decision. So I would say if you want more high-tech toys, playing around with cameras and heads-up displays, you should get the big V8, the 6.2. But if you want a little bit more choice in your powertrain and how you can set up your Rem Rebel and a comfortable interior, get the Rebel. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world truck reviews.